example, this is the other lazy pump fan. This is the main pump. You always want to make sure that you always screw the bottle onto the extractor tube before you attach it to the pump. So that you just got three main hookups. This is a little clip that holds it on and it's seated, just pop it in there. Once you've attached the bottle to the pump, just go ahead and line it up and clip it right to it. Now because it is a vacuum pump, when you go up underneath the bag, you always want to be able to tip it back just a little bit. So, because this has to be flush with the tube. And at that point, you can go ahead and start pulling your... Now it'll absolutely lock on. And uh, now, at that point, when you get ready, after you've drawn the colostrum or the milk, and you get ready to take it off, you just simply push back. You heard the air release. Push back on the bottle, and that breaks the vacuum. Never pull it right off the bag. But, and there's a, also a little line drawn on the, um, on top of the, where you can write the animal's name and the date that you took it. Never, never go above that line, because we don't want to get milk or colostrum into the pump. And of course, if that happens, We've always got the instructions, and it tells you on page two what to do in that in the case of that. And you just simply put the, any kind of dish soap. In. After you've got the warm water in there and the dish soap, add four to six tablespoons of baking soda, and that breaks up the enzymes in the milk or the colostrum and help. But you just completely submerge this pump. Fill it up with the soap and the water, pump it through it a few times, and then just leave it set in there for about 15 minutes. And that'll totally clean it out. Then once you get out, always hold it up upside down, because if you don't, it gets squirted right in the face. And clean it out, shake it out, and then go ahead and put it in the other side of the sink with good warm water, clear water, and then just go ahead and rinse it out and do the same thing. Shake it out, and then let it dry. and then you're good to go. And to test the vacuum on these pumps to make sure that little red valve is working properly, just simply put your finger or thumb over that hole and this should not have to pump. If it pumps easily, then you need to...